Welcome back to my flute workshop, whatever, long time no see. What I by accident found last time on the internet, they found a flute dated back to the Ice Age from a Wildcrum wing bone. And then they always emphasize on this V shape. You see it has four holes. This is here it's broken. In another description it's written that there is as if I can read backwards. That might not work properly, so I read it. With five finger holes in the V-shaped mouthpiece, the almost complete bird bone flute made from the naturally hollow wing bone of a griffin vulture is just 8 mm wide and was originally about 34 cm long. And then again the V-shaped mouthpiece. But keep this in mind that the holes start quite early after the mouthpiece. And what they figured out, it's in a pentatonic scale. So, mm, pentatonic scale looks on a Native American flute like this. You have three holes, nearly the same, then a slightly gap, and then two more holes. But going up to the place where the sound is produced. So, in this way, here you have the V-shape, then you have three holes nearly same distance apart, then you have a long gap, and then two holes with a shorter distance. So, for me, the flute should be played like this. This is the end of the flute, here you have the three lower holes, and then here you have the two upper holes. Then it would be pentatonic. The other thing is every flute, be it a Native American from here to here, it's a lot of distance. When you see, as example, um, South American Kena, they have here this special rim blown thing. There it they produce the sound a long distance to the holes and here a shorter distance to the end of the flute. Doesn't match this one, they say here it's broken. This part what you see here is 21 centimeters and they say the flute was 40, uh, 34 centimeters, so extension here. So imagine you blow here, then comes directly the first hole, then four more holes then long time nothing and then the end of the flute. So what I did, I built one, not one, I built a few to test. But here only as an example in the way I think it was. So when you see this here, it's completely same. You have this V-shape, then you have the three holes with the bigger distance and then the two holes with the shorter distance and overall 34 centimeters long. So they say this was the mouse piece, mouth <laughs> p mouth piece. And of course um, there is uh, no teaching of how to blow this one but I figured something out. Maybe I get it now directly. When I tried it, it sounded better, so you can create a tone with this, but still it makes no sense to start here with the fingering directly where the sound is produced. So what I did, I simply like on a lot of other ancient flutes, like the 
the nay flute, Arabic, Turkish, they have simply here this part uh, slightly in a shape and then you create your tone while you blow sideways like Kavala, simply see there is nothing in, only a hole, and then you hold it sideways. And so, so this makes sense for me. You have this mouthpiece distance from sound to the first fingerings and when you play this flute now not with the they said the v-shaped mouthpiece simply from the other side hmm? you hear something let's see if I can get the lower one This way, this flute creates a sound and it's in a pentatonic scale. So when you follow simply this and build the flute, it's not blown on this side, it's blown on this side. So with debunked or something, and even when you see other flutes, an Indian Bansuri, there's the sound hole and there starts the holes, the fingerings. So it's never ever in not even the the small sumaras here this distance from where the sound is created and then the holes and here only a little bit to the end it's always the same principle in every flute on the planet even the modern flutes when you see the recorders there is the sound and there starts the fingering and this is the end of the flute so and then they sound like so no way that this was the mouthpiece thank you very much if you have uh, questions or opinions about this stone age flute please let me know i would be interested in thank you bye bye